good people, welcome back to what is now day three of the isolation diaries. And uh, I'm looking a bit like a castle, I haven't been isolated on my bloody island. My hair's gone a bit messy and this is just ridiculous. This needs to go, I'll sort that out for later, don't worry. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling pretty exhausted at the moment. Uh, I've not slept well for a few weeks now because I am absolutely terrible in the heat and you know the weather we've been having just really hasn't been doing me any favours. And it just feels like that's all kind of caught up on me in one and hit me like a train. <laughs> As predicted, my knee's still playing up today. In fact, it feels a bit worse than yesterday, so no leg workout for me. Just gonna be doing what would be my normal daily stretching routine. Uh, then obviously some time on the treadmill and I'm going to spend the rest of my day just basically doing what I can to help this knee recover. Uh, as an update on the challenges I've set myself for this week, I'm not taking my weight today because as I mentioned yesterday, it can fluctuate wildly throughout the week, so I'm going to wait until Friday or Saturday to do that again. I managed to hit my 10k steps again yesterday, which I'm pretty happy about. Went to go to bed and I noticed that I had about 400 left to get. Really glad I checked because I woke up this morning and there was 9,600 on the watch, I'd have been pretty pissed off. But uh, I thought to get those up, I'll just do laps in the bedroom. One lap in the bedroom is 12 steps, so that was quite a considerable amount of laps and got very boring very fast. But I stuck some YouTube videos on in the background and it kept me going. But for now, I'm going to get into my stretching and my cardio and I will check in with you later today. That was obviously just a very brief overview of my current stretching routine. I try and do that every day just to aid with mobility and it also really helps with recovery. Uh, I am working on doing a full video of that soon with a bit more detail on what I do and why wine stretching is important and kind of talking you through all the stretches. So look out for that over the next couple of weeks. Now, rest days are something I often find quite difficult because I hate not doing anything. Uh, I just, I find it really hard to sit still all day. So I try to make them more active rest days. So what I mean by that is I try and do some form of cardio preferably lower impact so i might go out for a walk or like i did today go on the treadmill yeah it doesn't have to be anything too dramatic i just try and do something that's quite low impact like going for a walk or going on the treadmill like i did today it's really good to keep you moving helps to keep me sane and it's also very important for your overall health and well-being and also to just keep up the amount of calories that you're burning so even on rest days you're still burning a decent amount of calories it's surprising how many calories you burn just from walking around generally or doing everyday tasks like cleaning the house for example I am again doing another video on this soon on uh, the subject of non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So NEAT might be something you've heard of, might not be, but don't worry because I will explain it in a bit more detail. It's not as scary as it sounds. But that's for another day and that is it for today. I'm going to wrap it up here. I've got quite a few things to get done this evening. Um, hopefully back to some training tomorrow, but uh, we shall see. If the knee's feeling better, I'll go back to my leg workout. If not, it's going to be a chest-focused push workout. So either way, I'm looking forward to it. Peace.